together with pegs rather than nails. Mm -hmm. And they moved it in there and put it across the creek. And that building over there, the new building, is the production building. They're going to do 100,000 bottles of wine a year there. It's almost like a church. Yeah, so we're pretty excited about that. Oh, wow, that. that's neat. And there's Randall behind me, I think. Do you have time for lunch or you want to get... Anyway, today Brownville is 148 people. Uh, but it's a really interesting town. We have a concert series. Uh, we have summer theater. We have an arboretum, a wonderful arboretum there where all the trees and plants are marked. I'll drive you by the concert hall. Not much going on today because almost everything closes on Monday. Kind of interesting people that live here in the state, and all the early politicians came from Brownville. And steamboats would bring thousands of people a year into Brownville. They would get off here and buy all their supplies to go west to the Colorado gold fields. But then the railroad crossed at Council Bluffs, and when that happened, Brownville was dried up and went to sleep for a hundred years. And then um, people started kind of trying to save the town and revive it. This is one of the old homes. That was the lumber baron, Robert Muir, that built this house. This is our concert hall, and we have New York entertainment that comes in here at least once a month, and it's very well attended. is Corky Jones, and um, so they, they're the ones that sponsored Will and Mills, so that was right across where that tractor is over there. We always just miss everything. <laughs> Will and Nelson. Our timing is terrible. This is a, a health food store. They have stone ground flour and cornmeal and vitamins, and they were just uh, two weeks ago on the Food Channel that National Food Channel, huh. and so um, they're getting lots and lots of business, people are calling it. This is a row of little shops called Outfitters Row, just different kinds of little shops. Oh, well, I like that. Yeah. I'm not sure how <laughs> Yeah, and that's a replica of the land office. You know how people could have homesteads? Well, the first homestead in the United States was filed for here in Brownville in a building that looked like that. This is where our artist is. Tom Palmerton, he does uh, paintings and bronze sculptures. And we have a broom maker there, and this building with the brick front, I'm getting ready to do a uh, bookstore, used rare and antiquarian books. Have you ever written a book before? No. No? You should write. Well, I know I should. I'm majored in journalism, but I just don't know anything. This is our restaurant here, which is closed on Mondays. This is the Carson House, the home of Nebraska's first banker. This little building here is Dickie Holmes' garage now, but that was the ice house in Brownville originally. They would cut ice out of the river and store it in sawdust there. This is, uh, we're doing a connector trail. The, the Steamboat Trace Trail runs along the Missouri River for 21 miles. And then this is a connector trail that's coming up through the village so you can hike and bike on this little connector trail. And I think that will be a real hazard. 20, 20 miles? 21 miles, uh, the Steamboat Trace is. It goes from south of Brownville to just south of Nebraska City. And it's right on the edge of the river for a lot of the way. So it's really beautiful. And this is our summer theater. They shut down last weekend in August, but they had six plays in repertory there all summer, and it was very well attended. And we just have a lot of... Most of the houses that are still standing like that one, that was called the Beehive in the 1860s. So many families lived there. you have free this time close to home. and you want to come back yeah we 
get not so many people from Kansas City, but a lot of people from the Topeka area come up and ride the boat with us. Straight up 75. Mm -hmm. Well, we lost our boat in Kansas City, I guess, which yeah. is what your husband was saying. I didn't even know it. Okay. All right. Are your canoes over here or here? Yeah. They're at the ramp. At the ramp, yeah. Um, and it's now a museum of river history. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. They're still there. How long is it? You're in there. 365 hours. There's a nuclear power plant. It says stay 75 feet away from the shoreline. Where about that? Nukes, nuclear power. This is why you should never cook in your tent. Right here. Fire, fire.